Welcome to this episode of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. We're out here in this little, um, I don't know exactly what to call it. We're in a section of the Black River here in Michigan. And uh, it's a bit windy. We're actually down in a very deep gully. So the wind, as you can see in the trees up above, is blowing pretty good. Down here, it's not too bad. So I'm going to do some low altitude flying and exploring. So I am on the edge of a private airfield. I have spoken with the operator. I'm cleared to fly here. So in a second, we're not going to go very high. We're just actually going to stay uh, well under 100 feet here, even though he has approved uh, operation of 400 feet. So I'm going to go ahead and take off. And we have it in the air. I'm going to start video recording. And again, we're not going to go uh, too high, but what we're going to do is we're going to actually take this out a bit because one of the things I want to demonstrate a little bit, uh, another one of the Sparks attributes of really being able to operate in relatively close quarters. You know, because I could never actually do this with my, um, my Phantom 3 or my Up Air to kind of do what I'm doing now. So actually what I'm going to do is get right down near the water and not in the water I hope but I'm hovering right above the water uh, I have a fairly clear area so I got pretty good GPS and as you can see we can kind of look around and uh, it's a little bit of a combination of having my glasses on to look at the screen versus watch the spark itself and so we're just kind of spinning it around and we're just kind of hovering real low level and we're just kind of taking it out so i'm going to take off well i guess i'm going to put my sunglasses back on and so we, what i'm going to do is actually try to maneuver this guy around this river a little bit without running into anything and let me kind of get over here so I can see it. And again, I couldn't, I couldn't do this with the Phantom 3. Well, I probably could. It would be a lot harder. Uh, this thing just really kind of gets itself into some nice spots. And we're just kind of walking it forward up the river. And I want to see if I can't really see it. I'm getting, I'm getting a pretty okay video. Whoa! That's when you get when you got reading glasses on. And we're just kind of taking it up that way a little bit. I don't want to lose sight of it because there's a lot of trees above me. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to spin it back around. The wind's picking up a little bit. Some gusts are now making it down here, so uh, I want to be careful. Whoops. Because I'm being blown into some trees, so I'm going to have to adjust a little bit for the wind. Uh, all right. And uh, the wind's giving it a little bit more lift. And you notice the wind stops, it settled down about three feet. And again, I've got the polarizer uh, filter on here, the polar, polar, polarizing filter. Say that fast three times. And so I'm just, again, walking it down here. I'm going to have to move my position a little bit to kind of watch this. And let's go back over here a little bit. I'm going to actually go back around the front of this thing get down here into the river my battery is still looking pretty good and so now I'm right tight down in here and just kind of Flying it down that way. All right, I can lose sight of it there. So I'm going to turn it around and fly it back this way.
I think it's coming back towards me. Just flying it back. Now, one of the things that I want to do, let's see. Yeah, I'm a little bit nervous about, I think about doing a rocket, but that wind up there is looking pretty nasty. So, uh, I want to see about, I want to push the gimbal all the way down and then try some of this maneuvering. kind of walking around the banks here. Notice it when it's coming into the wind. See, 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 notice how it uh, just jumped up there about three foot. So the, so the uh, wind is definitely coming in this way and it's causing it to really rise. You know, back in here, I'm a bit shaded from the wind. So, uh, so I need to be a little bit careful coming up this way. And I'm going to spin it around. And I'm going to bring it back this way. I'm still looking good on battery. I don't want this thing to facilitate a return to home. Notice it loses the wind. It drops about three feet. I need to give it a little bit more altitude because it's starting to get wanky. Notice it hits the wind, it lifts. Notice the water. Man, that, that, that um, polarizing filter does really a job on the water. So I'm going to make another, just one more run and I'm going to call this a trip. And we're just taking it out. And there we go. Spin it back around this way. And just kind of running it out. And again, this is just really great for operating in such tight because I think this is even superior to the, the Mavic. So I want to do a, a little bit. I want to try to get a little bit more. I'm going to drop it down. I'm going to gimbal. I want to gimbal up. Okay, I want to gimbal up. Then I want to get this, I want to come bring it down. Not too far, Joe, not too far. And it's hitting the, definitely making the wakes on the water. Oops, I don't want the wrong stick. So let's move it back up. And what I want to do is kind of let it rise and get sort of a makeshift drony. And that's uh, that's good. I'm going to try one more. And I want to just Okay, well, I think I pushed my luck enough for right now, I hope. So I'm going to bring it back, and I'm just going to land it right here on the beach if I don't run into me. Running into me would be bad. As you can see, the battery's getting down there, so let's go ahead. And I'm going to save out the video.
All right, video is saved. All right, we've landed it. So, we had a great flight of the Spark out here on the Black River doing some low altitude flying. I tell you what, great fun. You don't always have to go super high to have fun with the Spark. So, anyways, uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, uh, like, and subscribe. Let me know what you're thinking about for lunch, and we'll catch you guys in the next video. Cheers.